Hello again. How are you? How are you? How are you? So, how are you doing? Let's do an introduction of the product. This is a product. Is it coming through? I'm sure, it's coming through. There we are, that's a product. And this is introduction. introduction. So, hello, how are you? I hope you can't hear the background noise. The morons decided to do some building work. Just, just, just as I decide to start recording. Isn't it the way, isn't it the way? So, what have I got for you? What have I got for you? Let's put the chair out of the way there. There we are. What have I got, to you? got for you? Well, I sit on the floor today. It's a gold, it's another thing, it's another product. It's a biscuit this time. It's called, uh, it's Gollum. Gollum's a brand. Sounds a bit like Gollum, doesn't it? From uh, the uh, Two Tower, the, uh, you know, Lord of the Rings thing, doesn't it? And it's a uh, Twins. It's a chocolate, it's called. I presume it's called Twins because there's two of them. Milk chocolate, sandwich it says. Cookie, it says it's a sandwich cookie. So, um, let me show you there. Let me straighten that up for you so you can read that. There we are. So, is it halal? I presume so, I presume so. I presume so. And the reason I say that is from Morocco. So, being a Muslim country, I presume everything is halal. Um, the ingredients sent the back, they're all in Arabic. So, can't read them for you. Can't read them. Are they vegetarian or vegan? I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't say it anywhere. It doesn't give a logo, it doesn't give a symbol whether they're vegetarian or vegan. As far as, um, as far as vegan, I could be more or less, more or less completely confident that they're probably not. The reason I say that, the reason I say that is because, well, it's got milk in it, it's milk chocolate, so that makes it non-vegan. Are they vegetarian? I don't know. I can't promise you that. You'll have to do your own research. Anyway, in a nice little red packet, looks like chocolate biscuits. Um, have I tasted anything similar from the looks of the image? It looks like a typical chocolate biscuit. I'm sure there's something along the line. Do you remember when I did that review of that chocolate biscuit? Uh, probably a couple of reviews back uh, of uh, it was something from Aldi. Actually, it's not released. I recorded it. Not released. Due to be released. Um, it's a chocolate, bif bil bil chocolate biscuit from Aldi. And I think, you know what? Yeah, I do pre record that. I do pre record sometimes. Um, so I think it reminds me of that to a certain extent. Anyway, let's give it a go. See what it takes us. See the journey it takes us down. Oh. Do you know why I said ooh? I said ooh because it's got a foil inside. So, here's a spiel. 
um, basically the portfolio inside keeps it as fresh as it possibly could keep it you know um, due to circumstances so they are having you tasting how they want the product to taste um, how we well taste how they, it's intended to taste it's keeping it as fresh as possible so uh, it's you know aging process is um, slow down a little bit you know going off products slow down a little bit keeps it that fresh I presume that's why oil is added if I'm wrong let me know comments below right. let's uh, open this up it's open up let, let's get this out that's it that's a biscuit give it a bite this will lot of under here nice nice so chocolate biscuit So it's a um, chocolate biscuit, uh, uh, a milk chocolate on the outside, a darker chocolate biscuit inside, cream in the middle. It tastes lovely this, I'm absolutely loving it, loving it. The chocolate on the top layer is how chocolate's meant to taste, it's a nice sweet taste, um, chocolate's meant to taste, um, chocolate that I'm more familiar with so there's not added sweetness added to it. It's just that nice caramel, caramel, nice milk chocolate that's been added. It's smooth, it's soft, um, it's delicious. And then you get the biscuit in the middle. Uh, the biscuit in the middle reminds me of a um, what's the biscuit in the middle remind me of a uh, Oreo, an Oreo biscuit. It reminds me of an Oreo biscuit, and then the cream in the middle. Not too much of it. Decent amount. Decent amount. The cream gives it that something different, a different direction. A sweetness, but a different kind of sweetness. So, a perfect sandwich in the middle. That cream. Um, the chocolate's quite thick. So they have been generous with the chocolate, you know, the layer. It's uh, actually about three millimeters at the top, which is a decent amount, you know, three millimeters. At the bottom, not so much, but still, still a decent amount there. nice crunch to the biscuit lovely crunch goes down really nice the aftertaste it's a milk chocolate um, you know because they've been generous with it as well I leave that little bit of a taste that lovely taste mm. Nice crunch. This would be amazing with a cup of tea. Amazing with milk. Or oh, as I'm eating it now, amazing solo. And you get two of these treats. I'm kind of really um, considering whether I should save it for later. I have it now. I only bought one of these packets, and it's that good. It's that good that too much of a good thing basically and I don't want to um, you know lose out on having that experience again so it's a play this it's a player it's definitely something you should get when you're at the lo local uh, when you're at the local shop in Morocco so have a look at that have a look at that if you got it good 
because you can certainly grab yourself one of these. It's absolutely delicious. It's a player. The biscuits, lovely. It's like an Oreo biscuit in the middle. Chocolate, top layer of milk chocolates, absolutely lovely. They've not uh, sort of like just a perfect balance of uh, cocoa and sugar to create it. A uh, nice soft a softness to it and the cream in the middle a thickness to be generous with it so uh, you know what it's absolutely delicious um, would I be getting it again of course I would would completely totally be getting this again this is absolutely uh, delicious and uh, it's just a bit if we don't get these in England um, but you know what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna actually be searching this this brand out see if they actually do them in England whether I could get hold of this in England because I would love to experience this repeatedly experience this repeatedly uh, how much did it cost I haven't got a clue I haven't got a clue how much it cost but you know what I can't imagine it was much anyway that's might be my review blinder that, that was a blinder um, thank you for watching do subscribe like share comment pass it on to your friends pass the videos on to your friends so therefore you could experience it as well anyway toodaloo for now bye see you later